Hello, I hope you had the opportunity to create your basic house shape. Let's review that we can look at our house from many angles by either clicking on the cube and dragging around, using two fingers clicking and dragging on the work plane, or if you have a mouse using the right mouse button. The first thing I'd like to do is make sure that I don't accidentally pull the two shapes that I brought together apart on accident. And I can do that by either clicking, holding shift down and clicking them both, or I could also click and drag to select them both. And you will see that this group icon becomes available and I can click group and that will bring my two shapes together into one shape. And now if I click and drag, I'll be moving my whole shape. It will also change my entire shape to the same color, but let's not worry about that so much because once we get to 3D printing, we only have one color filament loaded. So chances are good we're gonna be printing in one color anyway. I would like to move my shape a little further on my work plane so that it's a little easier to work on. I can also use two fingers and scroll backwards and forwards if I would like to get a little closer in to my shape to work on it. Now, every house needs a window indoors. So let's create simple windows and, simp and a simple door by pulling over a box shape. Now a door is a rectangle, so this is a square box, a cube, that I would like to turn into a more rectangular shape. So I'm going to actually make it a little skinnier. I'm also going to make it not quite as long. Now, I'm going to pull this item over my little door and you can see that it will actually sink into my house. To make sure it's perfectly centered and aligned with my house, once again, I can use that align tool. So let's try that. I have my door selected and I have my house selected and I can actually use that align tool to make sure that it's on the center in the front of my house. Now, I don't want to make this flush with my house and you're gonna see why in a minute. Now I need two windows. So I'm gonna pull over another box and that's gonna to be too big for a window. So I'm going to resize it to a window size and once again I want this to be the proper size and shape. Now I could try to make another window on the other side that is the same size by bringing over a box and resizing it or I can simply duplicate the shape that is selected by clicking on duplicate and then pulling my new shape over to the other side. Now a door and windows would actually cut into my house. How can I make these shapes cut into the house and not jut out the side as they do right now? The answer is simple. I need to transform my door and my windows into holes. I do that by clicking on the item and simply instead of selecting a different color, selecting hole. Now, if I select all these items and I group them, Suddenly, I have a house 
at the door and windows. I'm not sure I like the way those windows look. I think I'm going to push them. I'm going to ungroup and I'm going to push them a little farther in. Oops, ungroup. I need to regroup again. And now I have a house with a door and windows on the front. I can zoom out to look how it looks. I have created a house. It was pretty easy. I think you should try to put doors and windows on your own house. And once you've put a front door and two front windows, why don't you try turning your house around and putting a different shaped door or a different shaped window on the back? There is a worksheet that goes along with what we just did. Have fun!